Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a look at the full analytics option inside of Adobe Connect 9 and greater. In Adobe Connect 9, we integrated Adobe Site Catalyst with Adobe Connect to provide more analytics, more reporting features for our events module. For example, I'm taking a look at an event here. Of course, I can see the aggregate user data as I've always been able to. But in addition to being able to download all of this information into my own file, I can also look at things like a conversion funnel. I can see how many people came to look at my event, how many of those people clicked on the registration page, how many of them completed registration, how many of them logged in, and how many of them are qualified leads. In fact, we even built in lead qualification right into the reporting data. I can set a qualified lead based on how long they attended my event, how they answered specific registration questions, how they answered polls within the event itself. I can also look at campaign report performance. I can see which campaigns I was running were most effective, not only at bringing people into my event, but uh, at creating qualified leads for me. I can look at that based on all of the different campaigns I've been running. I can also see how people were answering registration questions. And this analytics gives me the ability to really view the in-meeting activities. For example, I can see the level of engagement throughout the meeting based on an engagement report that also shows me the attendance. I can see how many people were using the chat or Q&A pod, how many chat messages uh, were used during the meeting, how many of those were public versus private. I can see how many questions were asked and how many of those questions were answered via the Q&A pod. I can see how many people downloaded files during the live meeting or responded to polls, even people that set their status. And of course, I've got all of the information about when people joined the meeting and when people left the meeting. So all of this was part of the Adobe Connect 9 events uh, functionality. And that is all included in this basic reports functionality. What I'd like to do in this video today is show you the full analytics option. Now this full analytics option requires an Adobe Site Catalyst report. Uh, an account on Adobe Site Catalyst. Once you've got that, you can add your company name, username, and shared secret into Adobe Connect, and that will integrate Adobe Connect with Adobe Site Catalyst. You'll still have all of these same per event reports in Adobe Connect. You don't need to leave Adobe Connect to view those reports. They'll show up the same way. The difference is you'll now be able to log into Site Catalyst and see that same information from a more holistic perspective. You can get a broader view of your entire webinar strategy rather than looking at this from a, an event by event perspective. So I've logged into Adobe Site Catalyst right now. It's part of the marketing cloud. And I've got a webinar details option in my sidebar. I'm going to click on webinar details and you'll see that there's a number of different reports that I can run. And these reports really do correlate to what we were looking at earlier inside of Adobe Connect. I can look at the conversion funnel to see how many people uh, visited my event page, how many of those people registered, logged in, and became qualified leads, campaign performance, registration questions, poll responses, file downloads, attendee status changes, and Q&A pod questions. So a lot of the same types of reports that we had inside of Adobe Connect. The big difference here, of course, is that I'm looking at this, again, from a more holistic perspective. Rather than viewing this for a single event, I can view this for all of my events. And I can filter those events if I'd like as well. Obviously, I've got the ability to set the timeline based on this calendar up in the top right-hand corner. I can set whatever time I'd like, and that will filter those events specific to that timeline. I can also create segments. For example, I can create a segment of events, filtering out only those events, for example, that had the name insurance in their title. And that will give me maybe a better look at a specific segment of events that I'm interested in measuring the campaign performance. The data that I'm being showed is pretty similar. It's showing me, in this case, a funnel of people that came to my event information page. Of those, how many people clicked on the registration page, how many completed registration and actually logged into my event. I'm going to click on Webinar Details to show you some of the other uh, reports that are available. Let's take a look, for example, at Campaign Performance. We're able to see some of this information inside of Adobe Connect, but now that I'm using Site Catalyst, I get a different view. In this case, a bubble chart that's telling me uh, on the horizontal axis how many people clicked on the event information page. 
on the vertical axis, how many people actually completed the registration. And then the size of the bubbles themselves show me how many people logged in. This gives me a very quick look at all of the different campaigns that I've been running across all of my different events and which one of those campaigns were most effective at bringing people to my event and actually turning them into qualified leads. If I'd like, I can click on any one of these different campaigns and further break them down. I can look at site metrics, the pages that they looked at while they came to the, the uh, website, the different paths they took as they came to the website, where they're coming from, the different types of traffic sources, uh, other campaigns that I'm running, different products or categories, whatever is set up in your Site Catalyst account is all accessible here in these Site Catalyst reports. I can also look at things like registration questions. This is an important part of every webinar that we run is making sure that we're asking people registration questions to help us qualify them as leads. And here I've got a very quick view, an easy view, to all of the different registration questions that we've been running. Because we're looking at this in Site Catalyst, again, it's looking at all of the different events that we're running, unless I've got a specific segment selected. And I can configure this data to look exactly how I want it to look. If I want to turn this into a bubble chart or a, a vertical bar chart instead, I can do that simply with the click of a button. So we've got access to all of this same data inside of Site Catalyst. But as you can see, by enabling full analytics, we're able to do richer views. We're able to look at our holistic webinar program rather than a single event. That's a quick look at full analytics, part of Adobe Connect 9 and greater as part of the events module. Thanks for your time.